General Hospital will return at this time following the National League Championship Series. And now, fame, fortune, and romance. Well, uh, it's a beautiful autumn day, you know, and, and the air is so good near the water. It's fresh and pure. I'd like to get into my play clothes. Oh, oh, well, later this time. Later. But you're always saying, get out of your regular clothes and enter your play clothes. Well, I will as soon as we get home, I promise. <laughs> Happy oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, we wouldn't forget. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> Surprise! Look, balloons and presents. Isn't it wonderful? Thank you so much. I can't open them now because I have to wait to see Mommy. Well, how about this? How about if Philomena takes all the goodies and you come with us to welcome Tanya home with the baby? Mm hmm Okay. Would that be all right, Grandma? Well, of course, of course. Hey, how about that, Robin? Uh, Felicia's an aunt and I'm an uncle, huh? You know what? I have an uncle, too. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness, look at all the presents. Maybe it's just something in the cards, Duke. Don't tell me what's in the cards, Angel. I'm not through yet. You know, you could blow this town tonight and save your skin. No. Anna will take this ring back when Frisco and Felicia are cleared. Mark was all set up to take the rap for them. Not until we get the printout back, Duke. Damn it, don't you ever knock, man. Not as long as this office is as much mine as it is yours. All right. Well, I'll tell you one thing, and let's get it straight. I don't want anything to happen to Anna, Robin, Frisco, or Felicia. Do you understand that? If we get the printout back, they'll all be safe, won't they? Yeah, if Scorpio doesn't already have the printout. He doesn't. Mr. B checked it out. Scorpio does not have the printout. And without it, he's harmless. Don't ever think Robert Scorpio is harmless. Friends, there. Oh, friends that we've met. Oh, I'm delighted. Where's the baby? And is he a she or she a she? A she is a she, and it's just exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm glad. I think little girls are nicer than oh, little do. boys. Where is she? She and Tanya are at the hospital. I'm going to go pick them up in a minute. You know, this day didn't start off so good, but it's getting better and better by the minute. Mm -hmm. So what kind of uncle do you think Frisco is going to be? I think he's going to be a real good uncle. Well, you know, on yes. top of that, he and Felicia are going to be godparents, too. Don't you think uncle is enough? Well, I want to keep it in the family. Let's take a look and see what's in the refrigerator. Okay, thanks. I'll make sure we got everything. Hey, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Oh, well, look what you're wearing. Huh? The friendship ring you gave me? Yeah. I almost never take it off. When I take it back or help with the dishes, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I gave you that ring, right? So that means that there's, there's a bond between us that can never, ever be broken. Never? Mm -mm. Never. You remember I gave that to you the day Felicia and I got married, right? I'll never forget, Frisco. So that means that you're very important to me. As a friend? More than a friend. As a godfather. Do you think you can handle two of us? Tony's little girl, too? I think so. I'm glad. I was worried. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry. I think everybody in the brown house has brought enough food, not to mention all the nurses for tonight. Great, great. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. I'll get it. <laughs> Come in, Dylan. Hi. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. You didn't have to, but I'm glad you did. Well, it's a little silver spoon, which I think every girl should start out in life with. I do, too. <laughs> now, where are Tanya and the baby? Oh, they're coming home soon, but just not yet. Okay. Would you like to see the nursery? Could I? Oh, I would love to, as long as it's not catching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, uh... You don't mind us bringing the kid along, do you? No, not at all. Yes. Having a little bit of a rough time lately. 
Listen, Tony, uh, we gotta... We gotta talk about something. Okay, what? The bread you put out for my bail. I know you've been saving up for this house, and I know you can't get it now. It's killing me. Well, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get it back, and I got more coming. Listen, I'm gonna get a promotion at General Hospital, yeah, so don't worry about it. Yeah, but $25,000, come on. I mean, that's not, that's not easy to save up, especially in this day and age. Yeah. And, well, things aren't looking real good for Felician. Uh, we may not come out of this in really great shape. But you're working on it, aren't you? Yeah, but there's a lot of evidence against us. Jake's not gonna have an easy time of it. Frisco, you were framed. I can't prove it. And when Mr. B wants something bad enough, he usually gets it. And he wants that printout. Well, you tell me how. Pretty simple. <clears throat> we get Frisco alone, and then we threaten him by doing harm to Felicia. He'll give it back. Now, I have to go now. I'll call you later about a possible meeting on waterfront business. Well, it's out of your hands now. Yeah. Well, I didn't have Anna and Robin's lives in my hands. I'd, I'd go to the police and blow this whole thing wide open. That would clear Frisco and Felicia. If Anna and Scorpio get the print out in their hands, you are going to be connected with the murder. I know that. I've got to protect the people I love, though. I've got to protect the 